Hey guys, Garrett here. Um, just wanted to introduce myself and uh, tell you a little bit about my uh, YouTube channel. Um, it's obviously about myself and guitars. So a little bit of backstory about myself. Um, I haven't played guitar in over 35 years. So let's go back to the 80s. Uh, that's, that's when I was playing. And I'm a lefty. Yeah, you know, total lefty. Um, back then, was no options for left-handed guitars. Um, <clears throat> you maybe had one or two brands, uh, and then you had to try to string things from right to left, and very discouraging. So, needless to say, uh, be it young and didn't have the patience for it, I gave it up and just didn't pursue it any longer. So, um, now going forward ahead, um, 35 years, um, I picked it back up again. I just thought, you know, the one day I've been thinking about this, I always love listening to riffs and stuff, and uh, I thought, you know what, I need to do something with my time. And so I decided to pick up a uh, guitar again. So, um, I've been doing, uh, working on right now project, uh, transition one year video. Uh, right now, we're, we are one month into it. I've been playing now for just a little over a month now. I started back playing August 1st. Um, and yeah, so it's been just over a month, um, and I have a shopping obsession. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> to start off, this was my first guitar that I bought. Um, this is an Ibanez Gem Junior. Uh, it's a lefty guitar I wanted years ago. Never made it. They never made the gem and left. Um, Again, one of those just discouraging things. Uh, great looking guitar, love the feel of it. Um, it's got a nice Floyd Rose Ibanez setup on it. Uh, pickups are really good. It's Indonesian made, but they really did a good job on this one. Uh, very, very happy with the neck on it. I love the neck feel of this guitar. Um, so this was my first guitar and I started playing and you know, I was really getting back into this. And I mean, I was, probably every day been putting in an hour minimum every day practicing um, and I actually went back and started taking lessons as well so I've been taking lessons once a week for half an hour every week and then just uh, practicing and you know practicing what they give me and then obviously I kind of go off on my own little thing and songs that I like and <clears throat> so I start figuring out again how to play certain songs and that so things are starting to come together um, as you guys will probably see on my page I've already posted one song that I did and it's uh, called uh, Come Together by Godsmack one of my favorite bands um, it was a song I really want to learn so I just really put my uh, heart into it and figured it out uh, I'm sure I'll improve on it um, it's not you know by far the best out there. I've seen a lot of guys do this song and you know I just love how it's being done so I end up doing it myself and I really like it. Um, so anyways this is the first one I got and uh, like I said I've been really liking it and um, but being a beginner again you got the Floyd Rose set up and everything and you know trying to do anything from you know standard tuning and you know of a lot of songs now that I like to do are in drop D, so, you know, jumping around. It's, you know, constantly having to play with this setup and everything. So I left this guitar in standard tuning. And uh, <clears throat> then I ended up picking up uh, my next one, which is part of the, today's video that I did uh, on my transition, my one-year transition. Uh, this here is a Jackson Monarch Pro um, and it's a lefty too so you know I'm like just loving this because I'm, I'm out there and I'm looking I'm, I can see a lot of guitars out there that you know these companies are starting to actually get it and starting to make left-handed now you don't get a lot of options in the colors um, I mean I look at the right handed so they got all these great colors and you know uh, pattern schemes and everything on these and I'm like but you know what, at least I can get the guitars that I want. It might not be the color I want, but at least it's the guitar I want. And I love Jackson, I love Ibanez. Those are probably my two favorite um, kind of guitars to play. Um, I've just 
I, I, I'm very big on the feel of the neck. Um, I played around with the, the Fenders in the stores, and I played around uh, with the Gibsons. Um, you know, they got the thicker necks to them. Um, but these two, I love it. Uh, this, this one here has got the Seymour Duncan pickups in it. Uh, they're pre-powered pickups. So you put, it's got the battery in the back. Um, I got the, uh, the locking straps on here. It even actually came with these, the whole setup for it. So that's nice. It's got the nice tuners. Uh, it's got tuner locks. Didn't even have tuner locks when I was years ago when I played. Don't even know what half the stuff is. So tuner locks, um, I'm learning about this. And yeah, it's it's just great, great guitar. Um, so anyways, yeah, so that's the uh, my other one I've been playing around with there. Um, so <clears throat> over the week, um, I went out this past weekend and I'm like, you know, saying to the wife, well, I need a third guitar. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, needless to say, I ended up buying a third guitar, and it's a very high-end guitar. Um, Canadian, it costs just under 2000 for this guitar, um, and it's a Schecter. It's the Reaper uh, 6, uh, I believe it's a 6FS or FR or something like that. Um, I will be posting a video of it when I get it. It's I haven't gotten it yet. It was special order because of it obviously being a left-handed. They just don't carry left hands in the stores. But I got my hands on a right-handed that was there and I couldn't believe how thin the neck was and just the feel of it. It was just a great, great feel um, for this guitar. I've never played a Schecter before. Never even heard of them to be totally honest uh, until just recently. And uh, I mean, just the things, I, I was watching some YouTube videos on this guitar and, um, you know, just going into the store and checking it out myself, even though, you know, it's really hard to play a right-handed left, but you get an idea of it. It's more so, like I said, the feel for me, uh, you know, pickups and things like that can always be swapped off. I'm not happy with it, you know what I mean? But it's more the body, the feel, um, you know, the tone of the guitar, and it had really nice tone. Um, so... Yeah, so that one will be coming soon. So anyways, um, I hope you guys stick around. I'm going to try to post some more videos uh, upcoming. Um, I want to work on a few more songs. Um, and that's probably the slowdown right now is I'm just trying because I, I want to be able to play the songs like start to finish. And I'm working in solos. I've been working on scales almost every day. Um, just doing finger exercises to strengthen up my fingers. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll have some more stuff to come and uh, you know, I hope you guys stay in touch and uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. Um, okay, thanks.